take you to Rio, Rio. Fly away the ocean like an eagle, eagle. The movie, Rio. <laughs> Clearly I don't have a singing channel. I'm Rosetta Grows and we have a plant channel here. Today I am going to show you how I divide this philodendron Rio. It's time to divide it. I wanna make two plants out of it. And I'm also going to show you the differences between the philodendron Rio, which is also known as cream stripe, as silver stripe, so I'm gonna show you the differences between that, this plant here, and the philodendron Brazil, which is this plant here. I'll, I'll explain the differences, and I'm also going to divide this, and you wanna stick around because I have a special surprise for you at the end of this video. Be sure to watch to the end, and please forgive me because as we are still here with the COVID situation, I have homeschoolers sitting over here, I have People playing out there, I've got the dog pacing back and forth, so you'll see a lot of crazy distractions and hear them all. So hang in there with me, we're doing the best we can. So the differences between the philodendron Rio and the philodendron Brazil are fairly obvious. Although this is an older plant with larger leaves, you can still see the small leaves have a different shape. They're a little bit elongated, um, they have, they seem to be, you know, come more to a point. They're very pointy here. And the philodendron Brazil is a little bit um, rounder, more heart-shaped, and the variegation is not quite as dramatic. The striping isn't as cream or as silver, it's just more kind of a light yellow. These actually, the philodendron Brazil, have been one of my favorites for a long, long time, and then I saw the Rio and I was like, what? So awesome. So super stoked to get my hands on them. From what I've heard, not uh, they're not super common as of yet, but I think they're growing in their popularity and their availability. That's good. So before we moved on, have you subscribed? If not, go ahead and hit that subscribe button below. It really helps me out and it just gives you the warm fuzzy feelings, right? Plants give us warm fuzzy feelings. Red subscribe buttons give us warm fuzzy feelings. Just do it. Oh, that's better. I brought up a chair. I was considering doing a massive plie the entire time, but. My, my quads can't handle that. All right, I am set up here. This pot, uh, excuse me, this plant is doing just fine in its pot. Honestly, it's gonna be great. It could stay in this pot forever. It is not root bound. It looks fine. But I do wanna make two plants out of this. So I am going to pull it out. Step one, pull it out. Let's see those roots. Yeah, definitely not root bound, definitely not having any kind of issues. They look healthy and plump and firm. In order to separate this, I might be able to do it by hand because it's not really root bound. So let's just see. I do want to show you how dense the top is. There are lots of plugs in here that go down into the soil. Those are like the stems that go down in the soil is what are referred to as plugs. They're looking great. So I'm just going to try to separate the plant kind of as much as I can with my hands. Let's see if it'll separate uh, kind of naturally. Let's see. Oh, you hear that rip? Right, so as I'm working through this, you can see there's this great big root and that's causing me some trouble. So I'm just going to snip it. For the most part, it is separated. So I just have to separate these upper stems. They're intertwined. Kind of makes me sad doing this to such a lovely plant. It feels very aggressive. Ta-da! We have almost, almost two plants. There we go, two plants. Oh, I didn't need to cut that, darn. But that's a long root, check that out. Woo -wee. I'm gonna plant that. So each one of these is going to get a new pot. I'm out of four inch pots, which is kind of a bummer. That's what I would have liked to put them in. But it's so it's gonna have to go in a six inch pot. Philodendrons do like to be a little bit root bound, but I think it'll be all right. This soil looks okay, but I'm just gonna kind of push it to the side. I generally don't like to reuse soil. Um, you just don't really know how long it has been sitting out. This looks fine. It looks like nice soil. It's not over dried or anything like that, but if this 
plant was potted up a couple of years ago, which I don't think based on the size. Anyways, you just never know. So I like to start fresh. And I have in this bowl here, I have just some basic potting mix, a miracle Grow indoor mix. So it has plenty of drainage. And then I did add some additional perlite for drainage. Okay, so I'm getting it all kind of stirred up here. There we go. Just gonna make a little indentation and then set them down in. I'm gonna make, make a little bit bigger hole. I like to leave a little bit of room at the top. Some of these look like they want to fall out. So I'm gonna press them back in. I'm kind of a messy planter. I kind of like to like well, I don't like to get dirty, but I just end up being dirty. I'm kind of, kind of, I'm just kind of messy like that. I see people planting, and they're so clean. I just, I don't get it. <laughs> I don't get it. Based on the roots, it looks like it's kind of uh, more of a juvenile plant. So I know it's going to respond fine to this brutalization of separating it. Ideally, you would have a like a you know maybe a more mature plant, but I think it's gonna be just fine. So there is numero uno. That looks nice. This one looks to be a little bit more robust. Oh, there's one of those nice juicy white roots. So I'm gonna put this other juicy white one in because I forgot to put it in the maybe a little bit smaller plant. So we'll have a thick, healthy plant and maybe a, um, a little bit more of a scrawny plant, but that's okay. We don't discriminate. Just want to get all those little roots in there. There's just a little bit more to fill up here and then we will be done. This one looks like it's probably, you know, my guess is going to be the better looking one. Oh yeah, that looks really nice. So that's all set. That looks great. We've got a trailer over here. It's looking good, right? So we've got some beautiful plants here. So that's how we make one into two. It's very simple. Really, you're just looking to make sure that you kind of try to do an even an even planting, but mm, I didn't really follow my own advice there. I, I, most importantly, I was just trying to get the roots to separate naturally as possible. I didn't really want to cut a bunch of roots. So that's it. Philodendrons don't mind to be split. Of course, you can propagate them in water and create whole new plants, but it's easy enough if you have one that's big that you can separate into two. Really, it's that simple. If you have one plant and you want to make it two, it's very, very easy. Many, many plants don't mind, but especially these aggressive growers, they're, they're super happy to be divided. And so if you have a larger plant, you can split it up and give it to a friend, which is exactly what I am going to do. So in a few weeks time, I am going to be hosting a giveaway over on Instagram and I am gonna be giving away, let's see, this one looks nicer, doesn't it? I am gonna be giving away this beautiful philodendron Rio in a couple weeks time when I know that this is doing well. So be sure you're following there and be sure that you keep a lookout. If you haven't already, you know how to turn on the notifications. You can get notifications of my post so that you don't miss it. This would be a good chance for you to get your hands on one if you have been looking for a philodendron Rio. Go follow me on Instagram. And if you haven't already, be sure to click over here to subscribe. I have a whole series on the playlist, How to Keep Plants Alive, which is, has really basic plant information that you might have missed along the way. So be sure to check that out. As always, you guys, I'm so grateful for you. It brings me joy. I hope that during this season in particular, your plants and these videos are bringing you joy. I'll see you next time.